740. Good morning. Welcome back to the stream and thanks for being here. So the city's first black owned family run dispensary opened in Logan Square about two years ago, but now the Grasshopper Club has a second shop in the South Loop. Yeah, two brothers and their mom are behind the operation Our Jamaica Ponder first introduced us to the family last year. Today they're joining us in house and Jamaica. What's the update? Congratulations. Uh, location number two. <laughs> well, yeah, so and because this weekend is 420 and we know that is the unofficial holiday for those who like to indulge and they're going to be partaking across the city. And so since there are plenty of celebrations, we we know that it, it hasn't always been that way. And we wanted to take a second to kind of talk to people who have been on both sides of that issue and understand what it means to have been a victim of the war on drugs, but also now being able to make a livelihood for yourself with this booming cannabis industry. So so this morning I have one of the co-owners of the Grasshopper Club, Matt Brewer, and thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. I know you and I have gotten to talk before, but I was really excited to have you on again because I think that you have a lot to share in terms of what it looks like for people of color, for black folks to get into the cannabis industry. And so I really wanted to hear you walk us through what your story is. Sure. Uh, well, we first applied for our licenses back in 2019. Uh, they were delayed for a while, and so we didn't get them until 2022. Uh, we opened our first location in Logan Square uh, soon after that, and a second one in South Loop. Uh, but the process is very difficult. Uh, it's, it's a lot. And so you were able to get your license through a social equity program that the state has, correct? Correct. Can you, can you share more about why you were eligible and how that worked for you? So the medical industry started in Illinois back in 2014. By the time we got to 2019, I think the state looked up and realized there wasn't a lot of diversity in the space. Mm -hmm. So they launched this social equity program to uh, target folks who've been impacted by the war on drugs and they defined that in a very specific way. Mm -hmm. And so for us, uh, part of it had to do with the neighborhoods that my family grew up in uh, that had been impacted uh, by the war on drugs according to the state. Uh, and then my brother also had uh, been arrested for possession mm -hmm. and been impacted by that. And so those two things together made us eligible uh, to qualify as a social equity applicant. Absolutely. Now, I, despite your success in the field, you do remain the only black owned dispensary in the city. And I, I want to hear your thoughts on that because it's been a little bit of time and I guess I would have expected perhaps to, to see more people in the space. It's disappointing. I think part of it is it's it requires a lot of expertise, a lot of money, uh, and in a very short time frame. Uh, we were fortunate enough, I had experience in cannabis in Illinois legally uh, prior to uh, 2019. That helped uh, and we were able to get up and running. I know there, there are a lot of great people out there who are working hard and will get up and running. And the state just made some loans available as well, which will help, mm -hmm. uh, but it's been a very long process. Absolutely. Well, that long process has fielded some great results for you all. You have two locations and you just opened in February of last year. Yes. So tell me, what do you have going on this weekend? What can people keep an eye out for? Uh, so we have two locations, Grasshopper Club, South Loop, Logan Square. Uh, for 420, we have 42.0% off store wide, uh, which is unreal. Uh, we expect there to be lots of people stocking up. We have a partnership with Fire Cakes, so we'll have a Fire Cake Grasshopper Club donut for everyone who comes into the shop. Uh, we will also have uh, in Logan Square Cafe Tola. We partner with lots of local businesses. Uh, there'll be a lot of fun giveaways, uh, just fun, fun times all around. And it sounds like a, a community event at this Very point. Very much. Everything we do is community. And it's such a stark difference from where we used to be. Mm -hmm. So I'm really glad that you all are able to take part in that. And uh, it's it's, it's uh, a pleasure for us to to be a part of it. Well, absolutely. Well, Matt, thank you so much. I really appreciate you joining us and and for walking us through kind of the, the behind the scenes of what it looks like, especially for people of color who are interested in getting a piece of this booming cannabis industry. So, thanks thank so much. you. Thanks, Jamaica.